the past never truly dies. In the sinister world of Monster, past choices cast long, inescapable shadows. Episode 7, titled Mansion of Tragedy, forces Dr. Tenma into a harrowing confrontation with the consequences of his past actions, exposing vulnerabilities he had long suppressed and plunging him into ever-deepening peril. This episode brutally highlights the enduring consequences of past choices, the devastating power of secrets, and the relentless psychological struggle between the hunted and the hunters. It forces Tenma and the audience to grapple with difficult questions of morality, manipulation, and the haunting possibility that everyone harbors hidden darkness within. Tenma's Past Betrayal a double-edged sword. The resurfacing scandal. Monster relentlessly explores the corrupting undercurrents within seemingly stable institutions like medicine. Episode seven unveils a shocking truth about Tenma's past. His willing complicity in a medical ethics scandal fueled by professional ambition and the lure of status. Consequences and guilt. This revelation profoundly complicates Tenma's journey. No longer a purely innocent victim of circumstance, he's forced to confront his own capacity for moral compromise. His internal struggle with guilt and self-doubt mirrors his desperate external fight for survival. Weaponized past, the architects of Tenma's downfall, Detective Lunge and those who seek to manipulate him, ruthlessly exploit his past betrayal. Past sins, even those seemingly atoned for, become weapons wielded by enemies seeking power, revenge, or simply to reinforce the ruthlessness of the world. The web of secrets and suspicion, the burden of hidden truths, episode seven thrives on an atmosphere of suspicion and withheld information. Every character from Tenma and Nina to the mysterious figures lurking in the shadows seems to harbor secrets. This pervasive lack of transparency emphasizes how the truth itself can be twisted into a tool of manipulation and control. Nina's fragmented knowledge. Nina, Johan's twin sister, emerges as a pivotal figure. Her haunted past and fragmented memories contain tantalizing glimpses of monstrous events. However, her fragility and the unsettling hints at a darkness within her sow continuous doubt. Is she a potential K to understanding Johan's nature, or has she been shaped into a weapon by the same forces that control her brother? The lack of clarity intensifies the suspense, making her a figure of both pity and profound suspicion. Conspiracy of Shadows. The lingering specter of a vast conspiracy continues to grow. Hints of powerful, untouchable figures pulling strings deepen the sense of dread. Tenma's plight is unveiled as more than a single-minded pursuit by an obsessed detective. He stumbled into a dark labyrinth with forces of immense power, forcing him and the viewer to question if victory or escape is even possible against such all-encompassing evil. The intensifying chase, mirroring inner turmoil. Visuals of desperation. The episode's physical chase sequences, Tenma's desperate escapes and Lunge's relentless pursuit are potent visual metaphors for the protagonist's internal turmoil. There is no respite, with each temporary sanctuary quickly turning into a trap. This reinforces the sense of psychological claustrophobia and the inevitability of Tenma's eventual confrontation with both Lunge and his own demons. Lunge's dangerous focus. Detective. Lunge's obsession with apprehending Tenma transforms him into a chilling reflection of those he hunts. Driven by a twisted sense of justice, he manipulates evidence, ignores inconsistencies, and sacrifices any semblance of objectivity. Lunge isn't merely an obstacle, but a representation of how the relentless pursuit of a singular goal, even with noble origins, can corrupt a person from within. Tenma's Duality Tenma's own actions are born of desperation and necessity, yet with each step further away from his old life as a healer, he strays closer to compromising his morality. He's both the prey and the hunter, ruthlessly pursued by Lunge while desperately chasing the truth about Johan. This duality forces us to confront the terrifying possibility that under sufficient pressure, even the most well-intentioned individual is capable of monstrous acts in the name of a greater good. Do you think Tenma can find redemption, or is he doomed by his past? Will he uncover the conspiracy, or become another victim, 